truth. It was I who was betrayed. Still, I am hunted. Still, I am hated. Now my blind eyes see what others cannot. That sometimes the hand of fate must be forced. These tracks are fresh, but they split off in opposite directions. Illidan must be getting help from someone. Your orders, mistress. You watchers split up into two parties. Scour the woods. Find what you can. We'll meet you further up the coast. Remember, sisters, if you find Illidan, do not attempt to take him without the rest of us. He is far too dangerous to tackle alone. Yes, mistress. The rest of you, follow me. My party was attacked by a bloodthirsty wildkin. Apparently, Illidan's passing drove the creature mad. There's no telling how many more innocents it might harm. This madness must end. We will find the creature and put it down. There, mistress. Those must be the creatures we're after. Wretched night elves. You are no match for the Naga. Naga? Many craven races have tempted our wrath over the centuries. None have survived. Wretched woman. We will retake the surface world and put an end to your vile race months and for all. allow Illidan to escape again. We must slay those Naga before they burn the ships. You are too late, little warden. The 
master has already set sail for distant shores. However, he wished to thank you for the hospitality you provided during his imprisonment. He asked us to repay you in time. You're certainly welcome to try, monster. Mistress, do you believe we can defeat Illidan even if we find him? Illidan has grown powerful, of that there is no doubt. He consumed the energies of the Skull of Gul'dan. Now he is neither Night Elf nor Demon, but something more. Mistress, why would the Naga harbor so much hatred for us? We must trust time to reveal all things. Now hurry, Illidan has a considerable lead on us. We must capture him before he causes any more harm. Mistress, we followed Illidan's course due east, as you asked. But these strange islands do not appear on any of our maps. I suspected as much. These islands must have been formed only recently. What makes you say that? The ruins all around us, Nysha. I recognize them. This was once the great city of Suramar, built before our civilization was blasted beneath the sea 10,000 years ago. But how could... Are you suggesting that these islands were somehow raised from the seafloor? Perhaps. Though there are few powers left in the world capable of raising islands from the deeps. Regardless, it's a mystery we'll have to solve later. We'd best head inland and set up a base camp. Once we're situated, we'll pick up Illidan's trail. Here, sisters. Let's establish a base so we can continue our hunt for Illidan. An orc? I smell the stench of demons about him. Rest easy, stranger. This old wanderer has no quarrel with you or your kin. I am Drakthul, once a powerful warlock of the Storm Reaver clan. Now, I am the last of my kind. What are you doing here? Your pardon, lady, but I am hunted by restless ghosts. They've chased me day and night for nearly 20 years. Perhaps if you silence them for me, I will tell you my tale. I'll consider it. The dead will trouble you no more, old orc. Thank you, stranger. Now, hear my tale. Nearly 20 years ago, the great warlock Gul'dan raised these islands from the deeps. He sought to unearth an ancient vault that held the remains of the Dark Titan. Sargeras, you speak of the Legion's creator. The same. After Sargeras' defeat ages ago, his remains were locked away in an undersea tomb. Gul'dan believed that opening the tomb would grant him the Dark Titan's power. For his pride, he and the rest of our clan were torn to shreds by crazed demons. I have wandered these isles ever since, haunted by the ghosts of my slaughtered comrades. Your tale is as intriguing as it is dire, Drakthul. It's a shame your ghosts lie silent. You deserve far worse than their company for what you set loose in this place. At last, the tomb of Sargeras is found. You, my trusted servants, must remain here and guard the entrance. If that wretched warden managed to reach this island, she'll certainly try to follow us. Illidan. I knew we'd find him. We'll have to fight our way through the Naga's defenses in order to follow him. We locked Illidan beneath the earth long ago. 
I intend to do so again. Now quickly, my sisters. Illidan must be stopped at all costs. I have a bad feeling about this mistress. It's too quiet. It feels as if we're walking into a trap. Still, we must press on, Nysha. If Illidan finds whatever it is he's seeking, he could... Wait. Look there. Strange. These are orcish runes. They were written by... Gul'dan when he first opened this tomb 20 years ago. What do they say? Apparently he logged his journey through the tomb's depths. These runes seem to depict that history. Quickly, you fools! Fan out and search for the primary passageway! We must reach the Chamber of the Eye before the tomb's guardians awaken! Spineless cowards! I said move! Now, Sargeras, I will claim whatever's left of your power and bring this wretched world to its knees! There's no telling what Gul'dan and his lackeys awoke in this foul place. We must be cautious. There. More of Gul'dan's glyphs. Interesting. They continue the warlock's tale. Blasted, feeble-minded weaklings. They're all likely dead by now. Still, I must press on. My power alone should be enough to... That laughter... Is that you, Sargeras? You seek to mock me? We'll see who laughs last, demon, when I claim your burning eye for my own. Again, he referenced this mysterious eye. What could it be? An artifact, no doubt. It must have contained tremendous demonic power to lure Gul'dan as it did. You've come far enough, little warden. Your vaunted night elf justice has no jurisdiction here. What would you know of us or our justice, Naga Witch? Why, my dear, we Naga were once night elves. We were Ashara's chosen, the Highborn, banished beneath the cruel seas when the Well of Eternity imploded around us. Impossible. Cursed. Transformed. We have waited 10,000 years to retake our rightful place in the world. And now, with Lord Illidan's help, we shall. Not while I draw breath. Your courage is commendable, but it shall avail you nothing. Look, mistress. More of Gul'dan's glyphs. Yes, Gul'dan's script seems to grow more desperate. It reads that he was... Ambushed... by the Guardians. I... am... dying. If my servants had not abandoned me, I could have claimed the eye and... Damn you, Sargeras. I won't be beaten like this. I am Gul'dan. I am darkness incarnate. It cannot end like this. This is as far as he got. The runes simply trail off. I cannot imagine what horrors Gul'dan faced in his final moments. <laughs> so, 
Warden Shadow Song, you've made it at last. I knew you would. You have much to pay for, Illidan. I'm taking you back to your cell. Naivete does not suit you. When I consumed the power of Gul'dan's skull, I inherited his memories, especially those of this place and the dark prize he coveted. Yes, the power of Sargeras. You would claim it as your own. That power is beyond my reach, little warden. But this... The Eye of Sargeras contains all the power I'll need to rid this wretched world of my enemies once and for all. Ironic that you should be its first victim. You're insane. Isolation can do that to the mind. Now, after all the long centuries you kept me chained in darkness, it is only fitting that I bury you in turn. Tomb is drowned by the seas. What happened, Mistress? Where are Nisha and the others? They are lost. Illidan claimed the Eye of Sargeras and used its power to bury our sisters alive. Now he intends to finish the rest of us off. We have no choice but to sail back to Kalimdor and warn Shondo Stormrage of what his brother intends. It's too late, Mistress. Illidan's forces have arrived. We cannot escape, but perhaps we can send for reinforcements. Summon the runner. She must reach the shoreline and sail back to Kalimdor. With any luck, Shondo Stormrage will reach us before we're overrun. Be swift, sister. The runner is in trouble. Protect her! Grant that she reaches Shondo Stormrage in time. If not, Illidan may never be stopped. Nordrassel's well, roots seem to be healing well. I wish I could say the same for Felwood. I fear the Legion's corruption will scar the glade permanently. Your druids will think of something. Perhaps Isera or Alexstrasza could lend their. Your pardon? Shandor Stormridge, Priestess Tyrande, but she insisted that she be allowed to see you. Who are you, girl? What is so urgent? I am a servant of the Warden, Maiev Shadowsong, she who pledged to hunt down the betrayer Illidan. Illidan? Explain yourself. Your pardon, Shondo, but your brother has raised a dark army from the sea and stolen a powerful demonic artifact. Even now, my mistress battles him on the Broken Isles. She requires immediate reinforcements. I will go. I will lead the Sentinels there myself. No, my lord. The Druids and I can handle... I am the one who set him free. The responsibility is mine. Then we shall both go. If this girl's tale is true, Maiev will need all the help she can get. Round my warriors. Goddess willing, Shondo Storm Rage will come. We've landed safely, but a few of our ships may have run aground on the outlying islands. 
I hate to leave any of our forces behind, but we simply have no time to wait. My owls have already scouted ahead of us and found Maev's location. She and her forces are under attack, but we'll need to pass through the jungle to reach her. Perhaps force of nature will speed our way. We best make haste. I doubt Maev's forces can hold out much longer. Elune be praised. I knew you would come, Shondo Stormrage. I'm glad we reached you in time, Maev. Priestess Taronda, I'm surprised you came in person. Are you here to absolve your guilty conscience? I did what I had to do, Maev. You are in no position to judge me. What you did was murder my Watchers and set the Betrayer free. It is you who should be locked in a cage. Stop this, both of you. We're not out of danger yet. Maev, what's the situation here? There are no resources left in this area, Shondo. We'll need to find a gold mine if we're to marshal more troops for an assault on Illidan's compound. Very well. Let's get moving, then. Victory is ours. It has been an honor to fight at your side, Shondo. This battle is far from over, Maev. Illidan has yet to be accounted for. And I've seen no sign of Tyrande, either. Show yourself, Illidan. It's over. Not yet, my little priestess. A pity you couldn't see things my way. Now you and the whole world will understand just what I'm capable of. Ask it off. Brother, what are you doing here? I've come to stop you, Illidan. Instead of banishing you, I should have returned you to your cage when I had the chance. I was weak then, but no longer. I have sworn allegiance to a new master, brother. I have a great task to perform in his service. I'm sorry, but I cannot allow you to stand in my way. Don't worry, my love. We'll find Illidan wherever he runs. We'll find him. Our forces will be ready to move out soon. Although we still know next to nothing about this strange land Illidan has run to. This land is called Lordaeron, Maev. It is the homeland of the Alliance that aided us at the Battle of Mount Hyjal. I was told that its kingdoms, both human and elven, were consumed by the undead scourge. These forests have suffered grievously. I must leave you both for a time. I will enter the woods and attempt to commune with the land itself. While you're gone, we'll set out and try to pick up Illidan's trail. I expect you both to stay focused on your task. You can settle your personal dispute after we found my brother. Of course, Shondo. We'd best get moving. This was an Alliance encampment. The attack must have come recently. Strangers, my lord. They don't appear to be undead, but... Ishnu Allah, Night Elves. I am Prince Kael'thas. I must admit, I'm surprised to see your kind here. But whatever your business, I fear you will find only death and shadow in this cursed land. Ishnu Daldiab, Kael'thas. I am Maiev Shadow Song. And this is Tyrande Whisperwind. We are hunting a powerful demon that arrived here recently. Curious. I don't know about any demon, but something's riled the undead based at Dalaran. They've been hounding us day and night. We were about to abandon this post and seek refuge on the other side of the river Aravas. Hmm. Then we shall lend you our aid, young Kael. Wait, we have no time for this. Perhaps once your people are safe, you will help us hunt the demon we seek. It would be an honor, milady.
We've driven them back, but the second wave is advancing. We've run out of time. The caravan will not survive another assault. Hale, get your caravan moving across the river. I will stay behind and hold the bridge. That's very noble of you, Priestess, but you're no match for a force that vast. The goddess is my shield, Warden. Elun will grant me the strength. current will take her straight into the heart of the undead lands. No, Kale. Taronda is a soldier. She knew the risks she took. We have a greater mission to accomplish now, and our time grows short. Your people are now safe. You will uphold your end of the bargain and help me hunt the demon I seek. This forest has suffered as much as Ashenvale. The vile blight of the Scourge has deadened countless acres of trees. If only the druids could... Ah! Oh, the earth is being torn apart. The pain is excruciating. Ancient spirits of the forest, I implore you, show me what is hidden from my sight. Show me what troubles this earth. I see the frozen land of Northrend, the very roof of the world. The land itself is being split asunder. this be? What could cause such devastation? It's working. Nothing can withstand the power of the eye. Soon now, my master's enemies will be undone, and I will claim my just reward. Thank you, great spirits. I know what must be done. I promise you, this treachery will not go unpunished. Maev, we've got to move quickly. Illidan is weaving a spell that is splitting apart the roof of the world. We must... Wait. Where is Taranda? I am sorry, Shondo, but the priestess has fallen. We aided a band of Alliance warriors against the undead. The priestess fought valiantly, but I saw her torn apart with my own eyes. Torn apart? Taranda, my heart. I should have been there. You can still avenge her, Shondo. Let us attack Illidan together. He is the reason we even came to this forsaken place. He is the reason for your loss. Shondo, this is Prince Kaelthos, the ally I spoke of. Greetings, great druid. My scouts have confirmed that this Illidan and his vile snakes are based at the ruined city of Dalaran. They are using a gem-like artifact to perform some strange ritual. They must be using the Eye of Sargeras. But why would they strike at the roof of the world? It doesn't matter. They won't live long enough to finish their spell. Illidan must be stopped once and for all. No! The spell is not done! It is not done!
It is over, brother. Your vile schemes end here. Illidan Stormrage, for recklessly endangering countless lives and threatening the very balance of the world, I hereby sentence you to death. Too much blood has been spilled on your account, Illidan. Even now, I can feel the lands of Northrend reeling from the spell you cast. Imprisonment will not be enough this time. I will execute him myself. Fools! Can you not see? The spell we channeled was meant to strike at the undead! Our common enemy. My mission was to destroy the Lich King's stronghold of Ice Crown. I'm no heed to the cost! Because of you, Tyrande is dead! What? Your pardon, Lord Stormrage, but the priestess may still be alive. She was swept down river, but it's premature to simply assume Silence, that... Kale. You told me she was torn apart. You lied to me. The Betrayer's capture was our primary concern, Shaldo. I needed your help. I knew you would go to her, and we would lose our chance. I... Just who is the Betrayer now, woman? I must go to her immediately. Believe me, brother. Despite all our differences, you know that I would never lead Tyrande to harm. Let me help you. My Naga can scour the river for us. Let me do this, at least. Very well. What? After all he's done, you would trust this traitor to- Silence! I will deal with you later. Let's go, brother. Prince Kael'thas said he last saw Tyrande being swept down this river. If she is alive, my Naga will find her. They had best return with good news, brother. The very sight of them makes my stomach turn. Where did you ever find such loathsome creatures? Believe me, brother. You do not want to know. Lord Illidan, we have found your missing priestess. She and her warriors fight on against the undead, but I doubt they can hold out much longer. Come forth, you mindless wretches, and taste the wrath of the Sentinels. Alun's light shall never falter. You best hurry if you're to save her. An undead strike force. But they're completely ignoring us. What could... Tyrande. Their flying horrors fill the sky. It would be folly to send your flyers against them. We cannot depend on them now. Illidan, you must hold the undead here and prevent them from assaulting Tyrande's encampment. I will journey downriver and... No, brother. The Naga and I can reach her faster. I will go. What you say is true, but I risk much by trusting you, Illidan. I swear on my life that I will bring her back, my brother. I... believe you. And Thoris Sathil, brother. Illidan, what trickery is this? Have you come to finish me off personally? No, Tyrande. You must believe me. I've come to save you. Save me? Where could they be? He should have brought her back by now. Hurry! This is our last chance. You risked your life for me. I don't understand. Whatever I may be, whatever I may become in this world, know that I will always look out for you, Tyrande. Tyrande! I knew you would not forsake me. I thought I'd lost you forever, my love. If not for Illidan's aid, I may well have. We have had much strife between us, my brother. I have known only ages of hate for you. But for my part, I wish it to end. From this day forward, let there be peace between us.
You have brought much suffering to the world, Illidan. For that, you can never be forgiven. However, you saved the life of my love. For that, I will let you go. But should you ever threaten my people again? I understand, brother. Lordship over this world was never my aim. Only power. Only the magic. I've lingered here too long. I must go. By aiding you, I've betrayed my new master. If I am not careful, his wrath will be my end. Farewell, brother. Tyrande. I doubt our paths will cross again. In Shufalana. Fools! Have you no sense of justice? Maev, Illidan has atoned for his crimes. He is no longer a threat to... It's no use, Tyrande. She has become vengeance itself, bound forever to the hunt. I only pray that in her zeal, she doesn't cause even more havoc than Illidan. Now, let's go home, beloved. We've earned our rest. You are late, Prince Kaelthas. I thought you elves prided yourselves on punctuality. It could not be helped, Lord Garethos. We ran into a group of night elves from across the sea, and- I am not interested in your fanciful excuses. You elves are here to serve the Alliance, thus you will obey my commands to the letter. Is that clear? Yes, Lord Garethos. Now, the undead have begun a new offensive to retake Dalaran. Their primary strike force marched south through Silverpine, but we managed to halt its advance at the base of the mountains. My men are ready to fight, my lord. When shall we leave for the front? We will be leaving immediately, but your people will be staying here. Our scouts report that a second strike force may be heading this way from the east. I need you to repair the outlying observatory so that we can monitor that region. But, my lord, we are warriors, not- You have your orders, Prince Kael'thas. I trust your elven ears heard them clearly enough. Move out! Insolent son of a- Let's get this over with. the lake to reach the outlying gold mine. Naga, you fought for the demon Illidan. We are on our own now, good prince. I am called Lady Vash. My brethren and I come in peace to offer you our aid. You have nothing I need, witch. Is that so? I thought you might require boats to reach the observatories you seek. And you would give these freely? Why should I trust you, my lady? Our two races share a common ancestry, Kale. Now, against the undead, we share a common peril. These boats are merely a gesture of goodwill. Then... I accept your offer. Thank you. Hail, Lord Gerathos. The observatories have been repaired as you requested. We were just about to- I received ill news from the front line. Is it true that you've consorted with the vile Naga? Well, yes, my lord. They helped us cross the lake. I assure you they pose no threat to us or to- They are inhuman and must be crushed like any other enemy. Be careful where you place your loyalties, Blood Elf. I will not tolerate treason in my ranks. Now I must return to the front. You will remain here and wait for further orders.
Greetings, Prince Kale. I bring word from Grand Marshal Garethos. What news from the front? Apparently, the observatories you repaired detected a large undead force massing nearby. Lord Garethos has commanded that you crush the undead before they can march on Dalaran. That doesn't sound too difficult. Unfortunately, your forces may be a little thinned. You see, Lord Garethos has also ordered that all foot soldiers, cavalry, and support teams report to the front lines immediately. You men, move out! This is preposterous. Am I to assault the undead with nothing but sticks and harsh language? The Grand Marshal has great confidence in your abilities. Be creative. Garethos. I'm starting to hate that man. Prince Kale, they've taken over our outlying bases. We're completely surrounded. Those bases are lost. We'll just have to improvise. Ishnudal dear, Prince Kale. We've come to join your fight against the vile dead. Greetings, Lady Bash. I would welcome your aid gladly. But the commander I serve does not approve of your kind. I do not see him here sharing your peril. Let me bolster your forces with my own. If not, you and your brethren will surely fall. What you say is true, but I... I accept your offer, Vash. Good. Let's get to it then. You have my thanks, lady. This victory would not have been possible without your aid, though I fear I may have doomed myself by accepting it. The human you serve trusts no race but his own. His sense of honor runs no deeper than his tolerance. It is loyalty and duty that bind me to him and to this failing alliance. But now those tenets seem as distant as our ruined homeland. All I know is that my brethren and I hunger for something more. Then perhaps, young Kale, it is time to find a new path to power and glory. I can't explain it exactly, but ever since our homeland was destroyed, my brethren and I have felt empty, almost drained of our spirit. There is a, a hunger now that has hardened our hearts. I know this hunger, Kale. Like us, your people are addicted to magic. It flowed through your veins for over 10,000 years. And now, with the corruption of your land and the Sunwell that empowered you... We have been cut off from our power, from our birthright. Without a new source of magic, my people will surely die. There are other founts of power in this world, Kale. Demons, for instance. You speak of madness, my lady. We will never be that desperate. Your aversion is understandable, but still. Prince Kale, Grand Marshal Garethos has arrived. He has brought a full battalion with him. Damn, Bosh, you'd best leave. I cannot guarantee your people's safety. Naga warriors! Forget about them! So, Kale, you've shown your true colors at last. I knew you were in league with those serpents. Now I have all the proof I need to execute every traitorous one of you. Please, my lord, spare my men. It was my decision to save your breath. I never trusted you, vain, glorious elves. It was a mistake to accept you into the Alliance in the first place. Now, at long last, you'll be dealt with appropriately. Take them away! How could I have let this happen to my brethren? Locked in these cells? Our thirst for magic will devour us. It'll all be over soon, traitor. 
Lord Garethos plans to execute the lot of you at dawn. Sunrise can't get here fast enough. These elves give me the creeps. Don't worry. This prison was built by the Kirin Tor to keep their pets from getting loose. The elves' magic is useless inside those enchanted cells. Greetings, Kale. I assume we're not too late? On the contrary, Vash. Your timing is impeccable. Once again, I am in your debt. But even if we free my brethren, there is nowhere to run. Garethos' forces outnumber us ten to one. You stand at a dangerous crossroads. You can either stay here and be slaughtered by human hands, or choose a darker path to freedom. What is this darker path? In the city above us stands a portal, a gateway that leads to other worlds. My master Illidan awaits us on the other side of that portal. Lead your people to him, and he will forge you a new destiny. He will sate your people's burning hunger. Side with a rogue demon, or lead my people to their certain deaths. There is no choice here, Vash. We'll have to free my lieutenants first. They'll be able to rally the others while we assault the exit. As you will. I sense powerful spirits stirring nearby. Arthas murdered a number of Archmagi when the Scourge ravaged this land. Now the wizard's invisible spirits can find no rest. Perhaps we should track them down and give them peace. My brethren are assembled, Vosh. Now all we need to do is reach this portal of yours Hold, and... good prince. We'll need to keep the portal open long enough to usher everyone through. But Garethos' forces will likely attack it before we can make our escape. Then I will hold him at bay. I'll buy you all the time you'll need. Quickly, my brethren. Take your positions. Garethos' forces will be here any moment. We have reached the portal, Kale. Now we'll attempt to open it. Prince Kale, the other engineers and I helped to build Dalaran's original defenses. We could salvage materials from these ruins and construct whatever defensive towers you need. Glad to hear it. You'd best get moving. Blasted elves. I knew they'd try something like this. Forget about those damn towers. I want that portal destroyed. Those traitors aren't going anywhere. Use these explosives on the portal. Whoever destroys the portal will be a hero. We've done it. The portal is open. Let the exodus begin. Well done, Vash. If we build more strategic towers, we should be able to hold off Garethos' forces long enough for our people to get through. You'd better be right. If the portal falls, none of us will survive. is through. Fall back and we'll close the portal behind us. All right, men. Pull back. Back to the portal. Now, young prince, we take one final step towards destiny. What is this desolate place, Vash? This shattered world is called Outland, young prince. It is all that remains of Draenor, the former homeland of the Orcish Horde. Amazing. 
I remember when Cat God led the Alliance expedition here years ago. He almost succeeded in wiping the orcs out for good. In an attempt to escape, Ner'zhul opened a number of massive dimensional gateways. But all they succeeded in doing was tearing the planet apart. Yes. And now, amongst the ruins of this dead world, we have come to find the Master. Illidan. Why here? What could possibly interest him in this barren wasteland? That I do not know. Regardless, we should seek him out quickly. Agreed. Actually, I'm anxious to meet him again. If he can cure my people of their hunger for magic, I will gladly pledge myself to his service. This place is unnerving. We've marched for three days and seen no signs of life. Still, I can't shake the feeling that we're not alone out here. We aren't. I caught the scent just as the wind shifted. Night Elves, what could they be doing here? The Warden Maiev swore to capture Illidan at any cost. She must have brought her warriors here to hunt him. There, Illidan lies chained in that cage. The Night Elves must be taking him to their stronghold. Then we must rescue him before they reach safety. Lady Vash. Your rescue was most timely. The thought of spending another 10,000 years in Maiev's prison was not a pleasant one. We could not forsake you, Lord Illidan, but you owe your freedom to them. Who are they, Vash? The young elf looks familiar, but... They call themselves the Blood Elves, my lord. They are the last mortal descendants of the Highborn who served you long ago. This is Prince Kael'thas. He and his brethren have come to bask in your wisdom and pledge themselves to your will. You were right to come to me, Kael. I share the pain of your addiction, your hunger for magic. Can you help us, Lord Illidan? Can you cure us? There is no cure, young one. But there are ways to feed the hunger. Follow me and I will grant your people more magic than they can imagine. So be it. Lord Illidan, my fellow Blood Elves and I humbly pledge ourselves to your service. Then arise, young Kale. You shall be my right hand and the harbinger of my wrath. What of your plans, Master? Hmm. Many months after the Legion's defeat at the Battle of Mount Hyjal, I was visited by one of the last great demon lords, Kil'jaeden. Illidan, in the past you have been both friend and foe to the Burning Legion. But by consuming the Skull of Gul'dan, you sealed our defeat in this world. I come to offer you a second chance to serve us. What would you have me do, Great One? My creation, the Lich King, has betrayed me. He dared to break the pact that binds him to my will. But his spirit still lies trapped inside the frozen throne of Ice Crown. Destroy it for me, and I will grant you your heart's desire. It shall be done, Great One. It shall be done. At Dalaran, I attempted to use the Eye of Sargeras to melt away the polar ice caps surrounding the Ice Crown Glacier. If the spell had succeeded, the Lich King would have been vanquished forever. But the cursed Night Elves intervened. And the spell went awry. Given my failure, I fled to this desolate place to evade Kil'jaeden's wrath. Now, if I am to remain here in exile, we will need to ensure that Kil'jaeden's agents 
have been cleansed from the land. Long ago, after Dranor's explosion, a brutal pit lord named Magtheridin rallied the surviving orcs and took control of Outland. Since then, his forces have grown strong. How, Master? If most of the orcs were killed when this world exploded, how has he bolstered his ranks? By using the very portals that tore the planet apart. Many of Ner'zhul's dimensional gates still stand, young prince. Magtheridin lures scores of hapless demons through them daily. Then we must seal them permanently. Yes. We will seek out each of the gates, and I will close them myself. Once they have been sealed, we will move against Magtheridin's Black Citadel and claim Outland as our own. Sage of the Draenei. Lord Illidan promised to rid us of our ancient enemies in exchange for our loyalty. These cursed orcs of Magtheridon, a terrible lord whose black citadel lies to the west. Under his command, the orcs hunted us to the brink of extinction. But now, with Lord Illidan behind us, we will fight back and retake our ancestral lands. We also serve Illidan, Old One. Very well, stranger. We've done it, Master. The dimensional gates are all sealed. There's no way for Magtheridin to call reinforcements now. True. But his standing forces are still considerable. Assaulting his Black Citadel will not be easy, Kale. I wouldn't have it any other way. Our enemies draw near, Lord Magtheridon. These upstarts are tiresome gnats, nothing more. The might of Magtheridon cannot be denied. I am the Lord of Outland. Those who dispute my rule will soon regret their folly. Magtheridon has grown strong over the years, but he has had few real foes to contend with. He has become decadent and complacent. The boisterous cur cannot match our cunning or our will. This will be a glorious battle, Master. Though Magtheridon's forces vastly outnumber ours, your warriors are prepared to fight to the end. I am pleased by your people's zeal, young Kale. Their spirits and powers have been honed in this harsh wilderness. Their courage alone may be enough to... Lord Illidan, new arrivals come to greet you. We Draenei have fought the Orcs and their demon masters for generations. Now at last, we will end their curse forever. We are yours to command, Lord Illidan. As I promised, your people shall have their vengeance, Akama. By night's end, we will all be drunk with it. But, Kale, give the final order to strike. The hour of wrath has come. I do not know you, stranger, but your power is vast. Are you an agent of the Legion? Have you been sent to test me? <laughs> I have come to replace you. You're a relic, Magtheridon. A ghost of a past age. The future is mine. From this moment on, Outland and all of its denizens will bow to me. 
Hear me now, you trembling mortals. I am your lord and master. Illidan reigns supreme. What is this, Vosh? Where did this storm come from? Keep your head down, fool. Something terrible is drawing near. Foolish little mongrel. You failed to destroy the frozen throne as I commanded. And still you thought to hide from me in this forsaken backwater. I thought you to be more cunning, Illidan. Kiltaden, I was merely set back. I was attempting to bolster my forces. The Lich King will be destroyed. I promise you. Indeed. Still, these servitors you've gathered show some promise. I will give you one last chance, Illidan. Destroy the Frozen Throne, or face my eternal wrath. Perhaps hiding here was not the most prudent decision. Still, the quest lies before us. Will you follow me into the cold heart of death itself? The Naga are yours to command, Lord Illidan. Where you go, we follow. The Blood Elves are yours as well, Master. We will drive the Scourge before us and shatter the Frozen Throne as you command. It's been months since we last heard from Lord Archimond. I grow tired of watching over these rotting undead. What are we still doing here? We were charged with overseeing this land, Detherok. It is our duty to remain here and ensure that the Scourge is ready for action. True, though we should have received some kind of orders by now. The Legion was defeated months ago. How could they not know? Impossible to say. But the longer they remain in command, the more they run the Scourge into the ground. What? Who could possibly... Greetings, Dreadlords. I should thank you for looking after my kingdom during my absence. However, I won't be requiring your services any longer. Prince Arthas, this land is ours. The Scourge belongs to the Legion. Not anymore, demon. Your masters have been defeated. The Legion is undone. Your deaths will complete the circle. Never! This isn't over, human. We knew you would return to us, Prince Arthas. I have returned, Lich, but you will now address me as King. This is, after all, my land. Now we must secure the kingdom by scouring the last remnants of humanity from it. But my King, the humans have begun to abandon their villages. They are fleeing to the canyon passes. If they escape into the mountains, it will be impossible to hunt them all down. Then we must slaughter them before they escape. Their deaths will be a fitting tribute to Ner'zhul. At last, the Alliance is finished. Once we round up the last stragglers, we should be... Ugh, not again. It is I. The Lich King. Danger draws near the Frozen Throne. You must return to Northrend immediately. Obey! My King, you are not well. Take me back to the capital. I have a long journey ahead of me. Lady Sylvanas, we are pleased that you came. How could I not? 
For some reason, I no longer hear the Lich King's voice in my head. My will is my own once again. You Dreadlords seem to know why. We've discovered that the Lich King is losing his power. As it wanes, so too does his ability to command undead such as you. And what of King Arthas? What about his powers? Though his Runeblade Frostborn carries powerful enchantments, Arthas' own powers will fade in time. It is inevitable. You seek to overthrow him, and you want my help to do it. The Legion may be defeated, but we are the Nathrazim. We'll not let some upstart human get the best of us. Arthas must fall. The Lich Kalthazard is far too loyal to betray his master. But you, on the other hand... Hate him. I have my own reasons for seeking vengeance. Arthas murdered my people and turned me into this monstrosity. I may take part in your bloody coup, but I will do so in my own way. I, for one, do not trust her. Her heart is still elven. She will never side with us. Don't be too hasty. She has great spirit, but her hatred for Arthas will ultimately serve our cause. Agreed. Well, if that's settled, let the festivities commence. So the seizures have been getting worse? Yes. With my powers drained, I can barely command my own warriors. The Lich King warned me that if I didn't reach Northrend soon, all could be lost. Fear not, my king. Everything has been prepared for your departure. The ships are waiting at the coast, and... There's been a change of plans, King Arthas. You're not going anywhere. Assassins! It's a trap! You should never have returned, human. Weakened as you are, we have assumed control over the majority of your warriors. It seems your reign was short-lived. There are too many of them, my king. Flee! Escape from the city! I'll find my own way out and meet you in the wilderness. All right, Lich. Good luck. We have no time for this. We must find our way out quickly. You have my thanks, ladies. But where is your mistress? Where is Sylvanas? She sent us to find you, Great King. We've come to escort you across the river. Once we cross it, we'll take refuge in the wilderness. This is the place, sisters. We'll rest here, Great King. Why here? We've got to find Kel'Thuzad before we- You have been deceived. Come to my side at once. Obey! What is happening here? Sylvanas. You walked right into this one, Arthas. It's time to even the scales. Traitor! What have you done to me? It's a special poisoned arrow I made just for you. The paralysis you're experiencing now is but a fraction of the agony you've caused me. Finish me, then. A quick death? Like the one you gave me? No. You're going to suffer as I did. Thanks to my arrow, you can't even run. Give my regards to hell, you son of a bitch. Back, you mindless ones! You shall not fall today, This isn't over, Arthas. I'll never stop hunting you.
The effect of her error will wear off in time. All the preparations for your journey to Northrend have been made. You have been a loyal friend, Kalthazad. I don't know what the future holds, or if I'll even return. But I want you to watch over this land. See to it that my legacy endures. I shall, King Arthas. I shall. You seem troubled, mistress. Are you, sister? Only days ago we were the Lich King's slaves. We existed only to slaughter in his name. And now, we are free. I don't understand, mistress. I thought you'd be overjoyed. What joy is there in this curse? We are still undead, sister. Still monstrosities. What are we if not slaves to this torment? Greetings, Lady Sylvanas. My brothers and I appreciate the role you played in overthrowing Arthas. I've come to offer you a formal invitation to join our new order. Very Mothras. My only interest was in seeing Arthas dead. I have no time for your petty politics or power mongering. Careful, milady. It would be unwise to incur our wrath. We are the future of these plague lands. You can either join us and rule, or be cast aside. I lived as a slave long enough, Dreadlord. I won't relinquish my freedom by shackling myself to you fools. So be it. Our reply will come soon. Feel any better, Mugthal? Me serve pretty ghost now. Mugthal's warriors serve too. Glad to hear it. Let's move out. A force. Lady Sylvanas is master here. We fight for her, brothers. Hmm. My own band of assassins. Intriguing. Any final words, demon? Sylvanas, spare my life. I beg you. I can be of service. I swear it. Just like a demon. You'd sell your brethren out just to save your own skin. I'm listening. I know what my brother's plans are. I know where their forces are based. Just let me serve you, and I'll help you defeat them. All right, Varimathras. I'll let you prove your loyalty to me, but be warned, I'm keeping you on a short leash. Northrend. It feels like a lifetime since I was last here. Something out there is threatening the Lich King. We must reach Ice Crown quickly. My King, we'll need to establish a base here first, but this island is nearly devoid of resources. What the? They look like High Elves. What are they doing here? Prince Arthas, we are the Blood Elves. We have sworn to avenge the ghost of Quel'Thalas. This dead land will be cleansed. Northrend belongs to the Scourge, Elf. You made a terrible mistake by coming here. Slay them! Onward for the Scourge. Slay them in Ner'zhul's name. Who the... Thanks for the assistance, Mighty One. The Lich King sent me to aid you, Death Knight. I am Anubarak, ancient king of Ajol Narub. I welcome your aid, Anubarak, but we have little time for pleasantries. We must reach Ice Crown immediately. These elves are pathetic. 
It's no wonder we destroyed their homeland so easily. Pity I wasn't there to stop you. It's been a long time, Arthas. Prince Kael'thas, I haven't seen you since... You lead these elves? This group, at least. What you faced here was merely a scouting force. Defeating Lord Illidan's army will be far more difficult. Illidan? He's behind this invasion? He is. Our forces are vast, Arthas. Even now they march upon the Ice Crown Glacier. You'll never make it in time to save your precious Lich King. Consider this payment for Quel'Thalas and other insults. Make haste! My enemies draw near. Our time is almost spent. Are you well, Death Knight? My powers are weakening, but I'll be all right. He's right. We'll never reach the glacier in time. There is another route we might take, Death Knight. The ancient shattered kingdom of Azur Narub lies deep below us. Though it has fallen on dark times, it could provide us a direct shortcut to the glacier. We have little choice. Lead on, Anubarak. You're certain we can reach the glacier through these tunnels? Nothing is certain, Death Knight. The ruins will be perilous, but it's worth the risk. All right, let's go. You've done well, Varamalgras. You've led us straight to Detherok's stronghold. But tell me, who are those humans? Detherok used his telepathy to enslave a top-ranking human warlord. I believe his name was Garabon or Gilathos or something. Human names all sound the same to me. Instead of stamping it out, Detherok has taken control of the last pocket of human resistance. They maintain their own army within the keep. Your brother is more clever than I thought. His defenses are considerable. Yes. And with this paltry force you've mustered, a direct assault on his walls would be suicide. I have no intention of assaulting the walls. Then let's go before he- My banshees will possess those hapless humans. We'll use them to open the gates for us. You realize we'll have only a short amount of time before he discovers what we're up to? Of course. If we strike quickly enough, Netherrock will never know what hit him. Whom do you serve, human? The Dark Lady. I am hers to command. The patrol has returned. Open the gates! Ready yourselves. The moment is upon us. Now, my warriors, strike! The spell has been lifted. Is the nightmare finally over? Stand down, humans. I have no quarrel with you. What is it you want, Elf Witch? We have a common enemy. The last Dreadlord Balnazar currently controls the capital city of your kingdom. If you help me kill him, I'll see to it that you get your lands back. Why should we trust you? You're part of the scourge that drove us out in the first place. Not anymore. My only interest here is vengeance. Ah, very well. I'll rally what's left of my forces and meet you outside the gates. Come now. You have no intention of giving them their lands back. Of course not. The humans are simply a means to an end. You sound more like one of us with every passing day, my lady. Watch it, Dreadlord. The capital city is heavily defended. Balnazar is no fool, my lady. 
This battle can be won only through attrition. What's the matter, demon? Are you afraid? Watch your tongue, human dog. Your hollow bravado does not impress- Stand down, gentlemen. Save your anger for Balnazar. Garethos, I'll lead my forces in a frontal assault while you attack the city from the rear. An aggressive ploy, milady. So long as we get our capital back, I'll stick to whatever strategy you wish. Give the order. Let the attack commence. It's over, Balnazar. Baramathras. Yes, my lady. Kill him. But I... It is forbidden for one of the Nathrazim to kill another. My defection was one thing, but this... I require one last test of your loyalty, Dreadlord. Do it. You wouldn't dare! There, your business is done. Now I want you wretched animals out of my city before I... Kill him, too. Gladly. The capital city is ours, but we are no longer part of the Scourge. From here on out, we shall be known as the Forsaken. We will find our own path in this world, Dreadlord, and slaughter anyone who stands in our way. We've been walking for hours. We've got to quicken our pace. The Lich King is defenseless without us. I left many of my warriors at Ice Crown before I came to find you, Death Knight. They will hold the line for as long as they are able. Tell me, where are all of your people? Shouldn't there be Nerubians around here, undead or otherwise? I've been wondering about that myself. Something must have driven them all off. We did, you rotting bastards! We've been watching you all along! Muradin's dwarves. Impossible. Doesn't anyone stay dead anymore? We've been wandering this forsaken land ever since you killed Muradin and left us to rot, Arthas. Our leader, Balgun, led us into the ruined city to survive. But there's no way we're letting you in. We have no time for these games. Saphiron, attack! Well done, mighty Saphiron. I wish we could take you with us, but the confines of the Dark Earth are no place for you. The Lich King's time is running short. We must hurry. I remember you, evil prince. You're the one that killed poor Nuradin. Get over it already. I won't let you through this door, traitor. The recent quakes have awakened dark things under the ice. Ancient, horrid things. We vowed to keep them locked where they are. We'll take our chances, dwarf. We're going through that door one way or another. The air smells awful in here. Something doesn't feel right. If the Dwarf's story was true, there's no telling what awaits us in the darkness. This stairwell leads into the heart of the old Nerubian Empire. We must be cautious. By all means, you first. We're running out of time, Anubarak. How far are we from the exit? Not far. We have entered the Upper Kingdom. The exit should lead us to the base of the glacier itself. However, there are still hidden traps and pitfalls to account for. Take cover! 
Arthas! The entire passage collapsed. There's no time to dig through this. I'll have to move quickly and find my own way out. Hopefully Anubarak and the others survived. Now quickly, head through that door. The exit to the surface lies just beyond. It'll be good to see the sun again. Remember, Illidan and the true battle still await us in the world above. Hopefully our trek through the Dark Earth bought us the precious time we needed. We've made it in Uberak. Our forces are already assembled and waiting. Greetings, King Arthas. You've arrived just in time. Illidan's Naga and Blood Elf forces have taken up positions at the base of the glacier and... Arthas, my champion. You have come at last. Master? There is a fracture in my prison, the Frozen Throne, and my energies are seeping from it. That is why your powers have diminished. But how? The room that made Frostborn was once locked inside the throne as well. I thrust it from the ice so that it would find its way to you, and then lead you to me. And so it has. Now, now we face a grave danger. My creator, the demon lord Kil'jaeden, sent his agent here to destroy me. If they should reach the frozen throne before you, all will be lost. The scourge will be undone. Now hurry. I will grant you all the power I can spare. I saw another vision of the Lich King. He has restored my powers. I know now what I must do. It's time to end the game. Once and for all. Time's running out, Anubarak. We've got to get inside the throne chamber before Illidan does. The throne chamber lies within the frozen peak at the center of the valley. It can only be opened by activating the four enchanted obelisks that surround it. Illidan's forces have already entrenched themselves near two of them. We'll need to drive them back and reactivate the obelisks ourselves. We're sorry to interrupt your meditation, Master, but all our forces are in place. Once the chamber is opened, we will destroy the Frozen Throne, as promised. Then the hour has come at last. After today, the Scourge will meet its end. Can you hear me out there, Arthas? It's end! Illidan has mocked the Scourge long enough. It's time we put the fear of death back in him. We've done it, Anubarak. The throne chamber is open. This is the hour of the Scourge. The frozen throne is mine, demon. Step aside. Leave this world and never return. If you do, I'll be waiting. I have sworn to destroy it, Arthas. It must be done. Never.
I have wandered alone for many years, little Misha. Yet sometimes even I grow weary of this endless solitude. I have watched the other races. I have seen their squabbling, their ruthlessness. Their wars do nothing but scar the land and drive the wild things to extinction. No, they cannot be trusted. Only beasts are above deceit. Of battle. Come, you mongrels. Taste the steel of Mogren's axe. 
Hold fast, stranger. You shall not stand alone. Damned cowards! Your stomach's been split open. I can do little to ease your pain. I know. This should be a good death, if not for my failure. Failure? I wish to deliver a crucial report to my chieftain in the lands below. But now... I have failed him. I have lost my honor. I will deliver your message, old one. For the sake of honor, I will uphold your charge. Akamagosh warrior. Thank you. Seek out the city of Orgrimmar. Find War Chief Thrall. Tell him. <sighs> May the winds bear you swiftly to your ancestors, warrior. Well, Misha, it seems we'll be seeing civilization after all. Let's get moving. A warrior city. I have not seen its like in many years. Stay close to me, Misha. Shore up those supports. When the razor winds kick up again, they'll tear those roofs right off. Yes, War Chief. A moment, War Chief. I come to deliver a message. How did you come by this report? Where is Mogren? He fell in the wilds. His last wish was that you receive this message. Who are you, warrior? I am Rexar, last son of the Moknathal. Moknathal? I've heard tales of your people. They had both orc and ogre blood in their veins. It is an honor. We've built this kingdom, Duratar, for all of our kind. Duratar is as much your home as it is mine, Rexar. Stay a while. Accept what hospitality we can offer. It is the least we can do. Perhaps I have spent too long in the wilds. Your offer is kind, Thrall, but I must carry my own weight. Just show me what needs doing and I'll earn my keep. <laughs> I understand. Founding a nation is tiresome work, and there are many around here that could use your help. Simply talk to them, and they will point you in the right direction. This is Rokan of the Darkspear tribe. He is one of my best scouts. How you doing, man? Ah, you're one of the Maknathal. I am Drekta. I fought alongside your elders on Draenor many years ago. Still, if you've come to help, I do have a simple task for you. I've been concocting a special potion that will aid our warriors in battle. However, I'm missing a key ingredient. I require Shimmerweed, but the rare herb can only be found in the valley known as Thunder Ridge. Normally, I would gather the herbs myself, but the Thunder Lizards from whom the valley is named have become increasingly hostile of late. If you retrieve six bushels for me, I will reward you handsomely. Greetings, warrior. I am Nazgrul, captain of the War Chief's security force. We've been having problems with the indigenous creatures attacking our borders. Perhaps you can help. The harpies of the northern foothills have been ransacking our supply caravans for weeks. If you can find their lair and put an end to their rampage, I'll see to it that you're rewarded. Ah, new guy, huh? I'm Gazlo, chief engineer around these parts. But enough about me. We got work to do, buddy. You see, me and my boys have been dredging out tunnels beneath the city, looking for underground wells. Problem is, we dug straight into a den of cobalt. Now those rat freaks are running willy-nilly all over our tunnels. 
I need you to hook up with my boys and seal those cobalts back in their hole. Yeah, just find the tunnel entrance outside of town and my boys will set you straight. Ah, Thromkar, Rexar. The others tell me you've been a great help to them. I appreciate all you've done for us. Thromkar, Rexar. I spoke to Thrall about the humans encroaching on our lands. I, for one, don't trust them at all. I'd like you to report to our outlying watch post and meet with my lieutenant, Garthok. I need to know if they've spotted any suspicious activity along the border. Thromka, warrior. We haven't seen any signs of human activity, but the local quillbores have been getting bolder. There is an observatory nearby that helps us spot potential threats. You might want to check it out, but be warned. The Quillbores roam the entire area. Gold Kosh! If only there was a way to root them out, we could end their threat once and for all. Now I can activate the telescope and survey the surrounding lands. Blast. It looks like the beginnings of an invasion. There's far too many of them for me to handle alone. Are you certain of what you saw, Rexar? I can't imagine that Jaina would send troops so close to our border. This does not bode well at all. Pact or no pact, I won't allow anything to jeopardize the security of our nation. I heard about the human ships, War Chief. What are your orders? I want you both to head back to that watch post and keep an eye on the humans. We can't let this situation escalate out of control. What if they're hostile, War Chief? I'd prefer that the humans remain unharmed. But if they prove hostile in any way, you have my permission to slaughter them. You did all you could, my warriors. Above all else, you kept Duratar safe. Yet this anchor sigil you described does seem oddly familiar. I just can't place it. Pardon, boss man, but if the humans be coming from the sea, my tribe on the Echo Isles could be deep in the danger too. Don't worry, Rokan. You have my word that I won't let anything happen to your people. I have an urgent mission for you, Rexar. That human fleet poses a serious threat to the trolls that live on the Echo Isles. I need you to take a zeppelin to the Isles and warn the trolls about what's happening. If you can, try to convince them to join us on the mainland. I be Vol'jin, leader of the Darkspear tribe. It be good that the Warchief send you when he did, man. Our villages already be under attack by the human fleet. We got no time to waste. Even now, the humans' battleships be blasting away at our coastal villages. You have little chance of defeating such a force on your own, Vol'jin. You should evacuate your tribe to the mainland and unite with the War Chief's forces. Though I hate to be abandoned in our homes, your plan be a wise one. However, we got to destroy those battleships before the evacuation can begin. Oh, these wily ones will serve you well, man. Their talent for destruction be mighty. We have no flying mounts, Vol'jin. We'll be useless on land. Oh, won't be a problem, man. Now, this be feeling a bit strange. Whenever you want to get your legs back, just land in the Ritual Circle. Remember, you must destroy at least five of the human ships before we can commence with the evacuation. Well done, man. You saved my tribesmen. The outer villages be ready for the evacuation. They wait only the signal to begin. 
In order to signal the evacuation, you gotta light the five signal braziers scattered across the islands. When you're done, the rest of me tribe will set sail for the mainland. But be careful, man. There be more dangerous foes than humans prowling the jungle. I'm glad you returned safely, Rexar. You've done well. My scouts have informed me that the Dark Spear trolls have landed further down the coast. They'll be much safer under the Horde's protection. Still, the situation with the humans has intensified. I've received word that they're sending an emissary to parley with me. We're to meet at Razor Hill around midnight. I don't know, Thrall. It sounds like a trap to me. Let me go in your place. I can't imagine that Jaina Proudmoore would ever set me up, Rexar. Even so, I'm not one to run from a fight. Just trust me. If you're right, we'll have lost nothing. This is it. The meeting place lies just beyond. Greetings, humans. It's about time you showed up. What is the meaning of this? This... Ogre cannot be the Orc War Chief. And you are not Jaina Proudmore. Jaina? Why would you think she would be? Ugh, enough of this drivel. We'd hope to corner your wretched War Chief, but you will have to suffice. Strike! Assassins, I knew this was a trap. Tell me who sent you, human. Was it Jaina? Foolish beast, you have no idea what's coming for you. It is only just beginning. You were right, Rexar. I should have trusted your instincts. Still, I can't believe Jaina would try something like this. Hmm, perhaps it's time we took a more direct approach. Rexar. I've written a letter to Jaina Proudmore asking her to account for all this madness. I want you to infiltrate her base on Theramore Isle and deliver it to her, personally. You can count on me, Thrall, but I may need help bypassing the human's defenses. I've chartered this Zeppelin to take you to the Darkspear tribe's new village. Once you get there, Vol'jin will see that you get all the help you'll need. Good luck, Rexar. The future of Duratar is in your hands. Greetings, man. My tribe be honored by your visit, though I know you got big matters to be attending to. Sneaking onto Theramore Isle be no easy task. Luckily, there be one who can help you. He waits for you by the shipyard. To reach him, follow the road out of town. We heard reports that the human fleet patrols the channel between the mainland and Theramore Isle. Be wary, man. They could stand between you and the sorceress you seek. Throm Ka, brother. I am Samuro. My humble skills are yours. Vol'jin entrusted me with a batch of explosive wards filled with an unstable concoction. If I can place them on some critical structures, I could create enough of a distraction to allow you to sneak across the channel in this boat.
Jaina Proudmoor, I am Rexar. I bear a message from War Chief Thrall, the same War Chief you tried to kill. He is curious as to why your warriors encroach on our lands and threaten us with war. What are you talking about? I do not seek Thrall's death, nor do I have any intention of betraying the pact we made. Perhaps. But the fact remains that your ships and your warriors have been raiding our encampments on the mainland. I had to bypass a large encampment just to reach you. I assure you, I ordered no such attacks. Lead me to these troops, Rexar. I want to see them for myself. Rexar, those don't look like humans to me. Those snake creatures! They must have destroyed the camp and slaughtered your brethren. We're too late. The serpents already killed them all. Wait, this one's still alive. Mistress Jaina? We found you at last. The Admiral will be... overjoyed. Is it even possible? We've got to get back to Theramore immediately. But what? Just trust me, Rexar. I'll explain when we get there. Hopefully we've made it in time. You've got to get word back to Thrall that... I don't understand. What's this all about? Those Marines. I know who they are, Rexar. They're... It's too late. He's here. Jaina, bless the stars, I found you at last. When I heard that Lord Aron fell, I despaired. But I knew you'd find a way to escape. I... What is this? An ogre? Father, wait. Father? The Horde is no longer our enemy. The orcs have their own kingdom now, we... You have always been naive, my daughter. You aren't old enough to remember what these monsters did to our homeland. The orcs and their kin cannot be trusted. They must be exterminated like the mongrels they are. I won't let you do it, Father. You don't understand. I understand more than you suspect, my dear. Perhaps in time, you will too. Seize them all! I'm glad you escaped, Rexar. And don't worry, we'll send word to Thrall about the Admiral's fleet. If that human's planning on attacking Duratar, he'll find the warriors of the Horde ready to greet him. It'd be taken to War Chief some time to amass the Horde's warriors. You gotta gather what allies you can find before the Admiral makes his move against Duratar. Take this Zeppelin and travel to Mulgor. The mighty Torin who be living there will lend what help they can. Seek out the chieftain Cairn of Bloodhoof. He will honor his oath to the war chief. Who are you, traveler? Why have you come here? I come in the name of Thrall, war chief of the Horde. His lands are in danger and he calls upon his old allies to aid him. I seek the one known as Cairn. Do you know him? I am Cairn. But I can be of help to no one. Return to your war chief and tell him that I am dead. Just as my heart is dead. The barbarous centaur attacked our village recently. Our chieftain's only son, Bane, was taken captive. The centaur are cannibals and do not keep prisoners for long. We searched everywhere for a sign that Bane was still alive, but we found no trace of him. Poor Cairn has been lethargic for some time. Without his wisdom and leadership, 
I fear that the centaur will decimate our tribe. Perhaps if you could find some clue as to his son's fate, it might rouse the chieftain from his stupor. Find Boven Wind Totem out on the plains. He and his brethren will aid you on your search. With Cairn grieving as he is, many of our enemies have been gaining a foothold in our lands. The vicious harpies of the Stone Talon Mountains have been poaching our precious Kodo herds. The Kodos meat and hides are essential to our survival, but the harpies slaughter the beasts and leave their carcasses to rot in the sun. It would be a great help if you would hunt the witches down and end their poaching once and for all. Bane, my son. I thought I'd lost you forever. I was an old fool to despair. Rexa, by returning my son to me, you have given me new life. For that I will ever be grateful. Now, you said that your war chief was in trouble, that the Horde needed the Torrent once again. Well, Thrall did much for us in his time, and we will not fail him. My warriors will rendezvous with the War Chief upon the battlefield, but I will be returning with you. Ah, uh, you return just in time, Rexar. Our scouts found this wounded ogre near the borderlands. Despite his wounds, he came all the way here seeking help. Must help. New warlord conquer clan. Kill many warriors. Lead clan to ruin. Brothers not survive. Me seek help. New warlord, huh? Don't worry, friend. I think I can help you. Have your witch doctors tend to his wounds, Vol'jin. I'm going to pay a little visit to his clan, and meet this new warlord for myself. That must be the ogre's village. I should fit right in. You know welcome, half-breed. You know Stonemaw warrior. Look, I don't want any trouble. I just want to talk with your warlord. You want talk, Korgal? You fight good, half-breed. You mock Nathal, have weak orc blood in veins. Still, you strong. Why you come here? I've, uh, come to join your clan. I want to be a stone mall too. You got some ogre blood. You got right to join. But do you got the strength? We see, half-breed. We see. So, you want join the stone mall clan? First, you take trial of strength. Need find the gauntlet. Harsh belly full of big foes. Slave foes, run the gauntlet. That proves strength to us. Go now, half-breed. We see if you return. You got strength after all, half-breed. You worthy to be stone maw. Now you in. What you want from clan? I want you and your warriors to help the Horde battle the humans. The Stonemall clan would be a great asset to the Orc War Chief. <laughs> Stupid half-breed. We ogres split from Horde long ago. They weak, soft. We no owe them nothing. Long as I rule, Stonemalls no help no Orcs. Then perhaps you've ruled long enough. Korgal, as a member of the Stonemall clan, I claim the right to challenge you for leadership. We had no real challenge in long time, half-breed. Breaking you be fun. We both take trial of blood. Me and you. No tricks, no magic toys. Just muscle and skills. You think me dumb. You think me slow. Now you see why Korgal rules clan. I underestimated Korgal's skills. I'll need to call upon my beasts to defeat him. Red. 
I have defeated Korgal in single combat. I have passed the trial of blood. I rule Stonemall Clan now, and I command you all to war. You ogres arm yourselves and meet the Orc War Chief upon the plains. Blood and glory to the Stonemall Clan! You be tougher than I imagined, Rexar. The ogres be a great help when the battle begins. We just get word that the war chief and his forces set up the command post in the central basin. The tauren and ogres you gathered going to be joining them soon. Check in with Thrall at his base. The battle against Admiral Proudmoore's forces could start up at any time. Come out. Once again, you have done the Horde a great service, Rexar. I am in your debt. If you're willing, there's one last thing I need before the hammer falls. We've crafted a new standard for Duratar, a mighty banner bearing the symbol of the Horde. I want to place a shamanistic blessing on it, but I require a few items to complete my spell. Would you gather them for me? Of course, Thrall. I'd be proud to. Rexar, just let me finish this spell. There, the blessing is complete. One last thing, Rexar. I want you to carry our standard into battle. I hereby name you Champion of the Horde. It is an honor, War Chief. I will carry your standard with pride. Look, Tar Ogar! Your efforts may have saved us all, Rexar. The Yogur and Toran conscripts you've rallied could turn the tide in our favor. Proudmoor's forces have established a stronghold due north of our position. Our scouts report that he's mobilized all of his standing forces for an attack on Duratar. War Chief, Admiral Proudmoor's forces have begun their advance. They'll be here any moment. Let them come. They'll find the Horde to be more than they bargained for. Rexar, you've earned the honor of drawing first blood. I'll hold the defenses here, but I want you to lead the attack against Proudmoor's base. Gladly. All right, you warriors. The hour of victory has arrived. Come, you Tauren. Rise up, you ogres. Today, you stand united with the Horde. Look, Tar Ogar! <laughs> Thromkar, War Chief. We've routed the human forces on the mainland, but it appears that Admiral Proudmoor and his Marines have pulled back to the safety of Theramore Isle. I wish this was the end of it, Rexar. But so long as Admiral Proudmoor lives, he'll never stop hounding us. We must press our attack and lay siege to Theramore itself. I only pray that Jaina is safe. She had nothing to do with her father's agenda, but unfortunately, invading her citadel is the only option we have left. War Chief, our troops are ready, but the Admirals assembled a blockade of battleships around Theramore. There's no way we can match their firepower. Damn it, I should have thought of this sooner. We've got to find some way to. Thrall, Rexar, I come in peace. You must believe me, I had no part in my father's plans. I wish none of this had ever happened. I... I don't know what to do. 
We've bled together on many battlefields, Jaina. We've faced untold perils as allies. But your father threatens the security of our nation and the very future of my people. You know how this has to end. I know, Thrall. Do what you must. There is a goblin shipyard on a nearby island that could provide you with warships of your own. With those, you could scatter the blockade surrounding Theramore. But please, spare my men if you can. My father will try to use them against you, but they're the only real family I'll have left when this is over. Please do this. For me. We'll do all we can, Jaina. You have my word. Now you'd better make yourself scarce. The battle's about to begin. Our forces are ready, Thrall. It's now or never. See it done, Rexar. I'll meet you at Theramore. The blockade is broken. Board the transports, quickly! We must land on Theramore and crush the Admiral's defenses. You've done well, Rexar. You're a natural leader. You remind me of Hellscream, in a way. Thank you, War Chief. Now only one task remains. We must storm the Citadel and deal with Admiral Proudmoore once and for all. Now, warriors, we must storm the Citadel. We must find Admiral Proudmoore and put an end to him. Only then will our nation be safe. Waktar Ogar! For the Horde! For Duratar! We are with you, Rexar. Lead on. It's over. Stand down, humans. Father, why wouldn't you listen? Above all else, Jaina, he was a proud warrior. Remember him as such. Duratar is now safe. We have no further quarrel with these humans. We will leave your isle in peace, Jaina. I pray we never have to come here again. Farewell, sorceress. You saved our nation, Rexar. For that, I can never repay you. Will you return to Duratar with us and make a new home for yourself? I appreciate your offer, Thrall. But I am Mokhnathal, a wanderer. I belong in the wilds amidst the beasts and elements of the land. But know this, brother. I will always be a part of the Horde. I will always be there when you need me. Farewell.